Should I invite him over? Yeah, bring him, bring him on in. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that yeah. really stood out is you said losing weight, you're starting to get this attention. And that actually is a huge fear amongst women that they don't want that attention. And it could come from past abuse where they did get a lot of attention and they don't want to re put that back on. Booty bands and barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. So my question yeah. is now that there is going to be attention, what are some ways that you healthily handle it? So that way you can not like want to revert back and go gain weight back just to avoid the, all the attention. Well, the attention is, is scary because all of a sudden you have a platform that you didn't ask for. Um, people do take your advice. I, I've been on the other side of it where I desperately wanted to know what uh, a coach at the time was doing. And I, I got just cut out fruit, girl. And I was like, okay, no fruit. I cut out all the fruit. And then I find out this person is doing Anavar, which is like a weight loss drug, like a steroid. They're on steroids. And I'm over here not eating bananas. <laughs> Just to be as honest as you can, don't lie. Just be kind to everybody because like they're, I know what it's like to be on the other side. So just treat everyone with like kindness, respect, honesty. And then um, no matter what, people are going to hate you for triggering for me. I hate when people, I'm such a people pleaser. It's like my worst nightmare. And what that's what I told you is losing weight. Girls aren't gonna, you get a pass sometimes because you're non-threatening. You're like being too silly and you're like gorgeous. You're going to be like, can you not, you know, it's just a different territory hmm. and you're terrified of upsetting anyone. It's like, I'd rather just be me. I'm happy enough. I don't need to be a bang and bod if it means all of this. And I, I wanted to go into a conversation that you and I had that was really interesting as far as identity and with weight. And one of them was, I mean, you're a comedian, you obviously make people laugh and, and um, you like to be funny and you like to bring people in kind of, so it sounds like people pleasing, right? Like you kind of like to bring people in with a laugh so they can like you. One of the things you, you mentioned was weight where you become not as a threat to other women around you. So it's almost like if you can be, I think you said like, if I labeled myself as the funny fat girl, then like I could have more friends. Whereas yeah. all of a sudden I lose this weight, then all of a sudden I'm now a competition, which was a little scary for you because you wanted to still be able to be, have the identity of having a lot of friends. And so what was that? What was that like? I just feel like at a heavier weight, women, they just accept you right faster they accept you faster they judge you less everything goes more smooth if your goal is to appease everybody else and just get by and be loved and no one's mad at you like you you just pretty much have to be invisible to get away with that and um who wants that at the end of the day I just never want anyone else to feel bad and I think that it's it's almost like selfish because it's just me feel wanting to feel safe at the end of the day I just want to feel safe I don't want anyone to be mad I want everyone to be happy is everyone okay you know but it's like where am I where do I go in the mix interesting yeah almost like you're shrinking yourself for other people to fit in wow and this goes back even to the dieting that you mentioned before so where is this program that you've joined with me is like we're gaining right okay we add more food we add more protein we add more water things like this where we're actually building ourselves up Whereas a lot of other dieting, like you mentioned, it's like the restricting and shrinking yourself down, cut fruit out, cut all these things out, right? They're really like kind of shrinking. So yeah, speaking on that, what comes up for you as far as the shrinking versus? So I think like doing it the wrong way in high school, I don't know where I got that self-determination to like just not eat for a couple of days. Cause now I just, it's just like so hard. I would just be like, go as long as I possibly could to not eat and then it was just stress all the time and hatred um I shared this with um, a group of girls once and it didn't resonate with anyone and I was like oh am I a little bit crazier than everyone else I used to pretend convince like in my mind that food was like something else so it, for instance like uh pinto beans I would picture them being beetles when I'd eat them or spaghetti would be like worms or rice would be like little maggots. And I shared this with the group, like that's how much I didn't want to eat. And everyone was like, what the fuck? 
fuck is wrong with you? And I was like, oh, you don't, you didn't do that? <laughs> um, but I mean, to the point where you're literally convincing your food is like rancid. And I did get down to like a very small weight. You're never going to be happy in that mindset, even if you're the smallest weight ever, because you're still living in like pretending your food is crawling and you're like, I hate myself, never good enough. Now you're like, I'll have some water. Well, I'll have that salmon. I'll, you know, you just get to have things. So there's mm. a drastic difference because the, the biggest one is you get to enjoy your gains before you never do. You're perpetually suffering. Yeah. What a lot of women don't realize too, that when they are essentially starving or skipping meals, the weight loss industry has done as far as the shrinking mentality is also shrinking your metabolism. And that's why there's this yo-yo effect of gaining the weight, losing the weight, then gaining the weight back is because really if your metabolism isn't on your side, you're not eating. Well, clearly you're not going to be eating protein. Protein, you're actually losing your muscle. Your muscle is your metabolism. You're not burning fat anymore. And so that's yeah. why we commonly see a big trend and a big cycle. And so, yeah, if there's one learning lesson. Do not starve yourself and do that because then essentially it's going to make your trip of fat loss later on in life even harder. So much harder. I gained all that back and more classic. Everyone's heard that a billion times. Now with, with the program we're on, I'll skip a day. Um, I got COVID. I was like eating like Chinese food. I love egg drop or like egg flour soup when I'm sick. So then I'm like, yeah, some wontons in there. Uh, I had like Taco Bell the other day, still losing weight, still losing weight. Like my body's like, okay, you're garbage right now. We'll get rid of it. We'll move on. You move on. But my body's not like, oh my God, get every last bit of, bit of the Velveeta. We need to store this, you know? It's, and then you're like, crap, every time I eat, I gain all this weight. No, but yeah. that's the difference. Like you don't gain five pounds every time you mess up. You stay the same, you don't change. Yeah. But then you start the next day and it's like you press pause. You didn't throw away your work. Oh, I love that you said that. Okay, hold on. Because yeah. so many women do struggle with like when they, when they get sick, they think they fall off track. And then as soon as they get that mindset of falling off track, then what they do is they go into that guilt and shame that lasts for weeks and months on end. So thank you. Wait, hold on. I really, I'm going to put pause on this podcast right now. I love what you just said. When you guys get sick, Lydia said it, it's basically just like a pause button. Your body is not going to be the outcome of the time you're sick. Your body is going to be more of what the weeks and months and years are going to look like. So stop getting so finite detailed into like, oh my gosh, I'm sick. Pause button. You're okay. Everything's going to be fine. And we'll get back to, oh, I love that you said that. And guess what too, when you're off or even a mental health break, like whatever, if you're just like, I feel poopy, I want to be like nice to myself or easy on myself today, whatever, because you're not being nice to yourself, you're being easy on yourself. It's not the end of the world. You feel like you just, before I used to feel like I just took everything I've done and just whoop, threw in the trash. No, um, that's not it at all. And yeah, it's okay to take a little break. If you're on the program and you're doing everything else, my like cheat days or whatever are not what they used to be I can't even eat all the stuff I used to eat um and your body just does it naturally you know like when you're really hungry and you go to the grocery store that's gonna look different when you're on the plan as you did before you're gonna do like half of the damage you would have done just can't you don't want it I used to want it yeah. So going back to just the identity shift. So now as you're going into your fit body, which by the way, congratulations on 20, by the way, not 20 pounds, but how many inches? Cause we care more about the inches. So how many inches so far? Like almost three on the waist, not so much on the butt, which is amazing. So it's just like, whoop, cause you think about three inches hanging over your pants and it's just not there anymore. Wow. Dude, that's amazing. And that, yeah. I mean, oh. that's amazing. To this in like a while and like how big it is. Wow. Yes. So I don't care about the pounds. You guys remember pounds is where we actually are losing water, fat and muscle. And so it's important that we're losing more of the inches so we can lose more of the fat, which that's what Lydia is doing. And that's why her metabolism speeding up. And that's why she's in harmony with her body and everything's starting to flow and work together. Okay, great. So as you're in this new direction, you're in harmony with your body. You've lost three inches off your waist, a total of 20 pounds. Absolutely phen phenomenal. How's the identity shifting? So before it was, I need to be essentially the fat funny girl and now you're going into this like skinnier version how is your mindset being able to be like healthy so that you can still be able to be you but in this new fit you 
Yeah. Um, it's, it's easier because when you're doing it, you just feel better. Like not only the inches on my waist and the pounds, but like I used to have cystic acne, like all like neck jawline, all horm- hormones. I'm a statistician. So it's all from like inflammation when right here, uh, diet can be up here for me. It was just, you know, I'll get one monster up there like once in a while, but this constant just ruining every, my whole life. I'm like changing like the shape of my face at times. And I'm like, fuck, you know? Um, and like back me too, like all of it's gone. All the, I, I'm Irish. So I have like the red little bumps, the little, um, strawberry thing they call it gone. It's gone, gone, you know? So it's like, you feel better. Your energy's better. You wake up in a good mood instead of being like, oh, fuck work again. You know, you're just like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. get up, go to work. Um, it's just, it flows. It's not like whoop, overnight. Um, and things just roll off better. Like you're working on something, you're busy. You don't have time for all the stuff you had before. So it's natural. It's natural. You don't even need to try that hard. Just always be conscious to be nice to yourself, forgiving, like you would to your friend or your, your family, you know? Yeah. And so as you're, as it sounds like a really big adjustment has been too that before you were wanting to have everybody like you, and now it's almost kind of like you're falling in love with yourself and it's less about what other people are thinking. And it's kind of like a new shift as far as like, you're not needing other people, you're needing yourself to like you type of thing. No, I desperately need other people's approval for sure. That's never, that's in my soul. That's in my survival. No, but it's better. It's better. I can let it roll off faster for sure. If people love me. No, I'm um, <laughs> um, no that's always going to be there. It's, life's tough. It sucks sometimes. People don't like you. Um, yeah, you just always be nice to people. It does come around full circle in ways you would never know. It's like every little action will come full circle one day so you just be nice to everybody and and try to help them you know like anytime someone is like what did you do I'm like go follow Danita booty bands and they either they do or they don't they take it or they don't but I told the truth and I and I offered the best thing and they take it it took me years before I decided I was ready so yeah, thank you so much for your love and support and uh, just your time today and jumping on. And I, I love just speaking to real women with real results that are experiencing it. So those that are struggling, they can just hear like, oh, wow, okay, I, I relate to her. Okay, I see what's going on. Or yeah, I also had an identity and like, okay, I can if she can break, I can break it. Like, you know, it just really helps in, in being inspirational. So thank you for yeah. jumping on. If you could, um, if you could just leave... Um, that somebody that was kind of almost like the old Lydia maybe, or just somebody that kind of feels a little bit trapped into that old identity. What is something that you would right here, right now, just speak to those that are listening on this call right now that um, can give them some hope and inspiration? Um, I'd say start small, start with water. That was like everything for me. Try like get one of those things that has like the markers on it. Do that for a week. If you're not reaching your goal, you're not, you're not giving yourself a shot. And that's a really good, like, literally you can measure it. Am I, am I hitting my goal today? Do that every single day. You're not going to have enough room for everything else. It'll start to roll. It's about the week. Don't look at every day. Look at your week. If you drink soda, okay, do a little bit less. That's a few hundred calories every week. Just focus on little, little bit. And then everything else will come naturally. You'll want to right now. You don't want to. So just start with water. That's it. Everything else will snowball and then you'll go from there. It's not today's the day and then this is it and the past is gone and I'm, I'm going to be new. No, 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 no. Just drink a little bit more water. Everything else will go. Just keep staying with the water. If you're still doing the water, you're on the right track. If you're not trying, you're not trying. I love that. You're basically saying instead of getting into these extremes of either all in, all out, focus on just kind of being in the middle and grasp the little baby steps at a time. Yeah, because you it'll allow you to give you the energy and the motivation and everything else you need that you don't have right now. You're not going to have it until you get that water. And you can Absolutely. show yourself that water. So you got to start there before you're ready to like take it all in. Because you'll it. get, it'll, it'll go naturally. That's why you've been 
fighting it this whole time is because you're just like take it slow the rest of your life why are you rushing oh ooh, ooh. did you guys hear that <laughs> that was an amazing that was an amazing line awesome well lydia thank you so much for your time today i uh and my laugh oh my gosh my side ache is now over here uh laughing so hard so thank you again so much for jumping on i think it can really help somebody that's um just needed a laugh as well sometimes we take weight loss so serious so it's nice to kind of like you know have some lightness in there so appreciate it yeah. appreciate your support lots of love and you yeah. have an amazing rest of your day you too love you d bye honey bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbells. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. Have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. This is how I lost over 100 pounds with Booty Bands and Barbells. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty bands and barbells has really changed my life for the better. I'm positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.